Now, two other gods that appear in ancient history that should be mentioned are Buddha of India and Horus of Egypt, who were said to have lived centuries before Christ. Both of these figures bear striking resemblance to Christ in their lives and in their teachings, which lends credence to the idea that many of the more modern religions were based upon earlier myths and legends. <laughs> now, Horus of Egypt, the legends of Horus contain remarkable similarities to the stories of Jesus. In fact, even the name Christ appears not to have originated with Christianity, but to have come from Egyptian mythology. Horus was referred to as the cursed, K-R-S-T, cursed, which means anointed one, centuries before Christianity. Horus also had the following in common with Jesus. Horus was born of a virgin, Isis, on December 25th. His birth was announced by a great star in the east and was attended by three wise men bearing gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Horus was a child teacher in the temples and was baptized at the age of 30. He had 12 disciples. He was crucified, entombed, and risen again. Horus walked on water. He performed miracles. He raised a man from the dead, El Azarus, which became Lazarus in the Christian Bible. That's in John 11.43. He was called the Son of Man, the Good Shepherd, and the Lamb of God. He was the Fisher of Men. Horus was transfigured on a mount, and he was identified with a cross. Horus was also referred to as Amen Re. In fact, the ancient Egyptians would end their prayers with the word Amen. I wonder if churchgoers even realize that when they conclude their prayers with the word Amen, that they are actually saying the name of an ancient Egyptian pagan sun god. <laughs> 